All right, we're gonna go ahead and do a tutorial on creating a set of horns, either for uh, you know a character or just for something you can put on your environment. Maybe you like a corral or something like that, or a demon's head. It doesn't really matter. But we're gonna use the curve tool to create this, and uh, it's gonna be quite simple, pretty quick. And it looks good in the long run using the twist modifier. And, uh, well, basically, let's get into it. So, the first thing we want to do is get into the side view. And um, what we're going to do is be creating a cube, uh, a polygon. And just create a cube. All right, so in the front view is what we're going to be in. Um, Basically, we're going to go create EP curve tool. And now we got the tool with the crosshairs uh, signifying that that is the active tool. All right, so what we're doing here is we're going to create the horn in the front view. And this is just as simple as basically kind of going like that. You can see how it's kind of bending it for us. You can kind of adjust it, you know, where you want it to be. So that's a horn right there. That's going to be the shape of the horn. And then to close the uh, tool, hit enter, and it turns green. So now what we're going to do is select the face. There we go. And basically, what just happened is from the beginning of the curve to the end of the curve, our face extruded out of the side of the cube, and uh, it's not following the shape of the curve yet. So to change that, under divisions here, we'll select uh, the actual divisions and middle mouse click, and see what happens when we add our divisions. Is It actually follows the curve now. Alright, so now we add some twist and taper. A little bit of twist, um, not too much. And basically, get that twist going, add some taper, and booyah. We got ourselves a pretty good looking thing here. And you can actually do a uh, twist value of negative 180 or 180, doesn't matter, and a taper of zero manually to do this. It ends up being the same thing. And basically, you can mirror this to make it uh, the other side of the horn. But what you do is go ahead and make it smooth to make it look even better. So if we go, uh, there we go. Added a smooth modifier to it, and there is our horn. So if we select. What you can do though, after you mirror, you gotta tell it which way to mirror. There we go. And then basically, what you can do. is uh, oh now the curve here is still here so what you gotta do is select the geometry 
and then delete the history by um, delete by type. Delete by type history. We delete the curve. We should be okay. So there is our horns. Um, now what you can do is actually go in and select certain parts. Um, we'll go ahead and go into multi. And basically what you can do is kind of uh, you know, select those vertices and just kind of move them around. Into each other. This is where it gets kind of complicated. You almost have to go into another view just to get it looking right. But it doesn't have to be exact right now. Um, let's go ahead and select these, bring them in. See how the geometry kind of messes up like that? I'm not really going to care because we're not visually seeing that and this is a little model so it doesn't matter to me. We can select these, kind of push it out a little bit, we should have done that before we smoothed it because then it would have actually looked, you know, proper, but you know, that is the basics of what we're dealing with right here. Go back to object mode. So that's pretty much the idea behind uh, starting some devil horns. You know, that's a rough version of it, but you can see what I'm going for there.